piece in from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States, of audio processing. I'd like to describe for you just very briefly, that means I'm going to yammer for 10 minutes, right? How audio compression works. Now, I, I mistakenly called it automatic level control in a previous video. Actually, it's automatic gain control uh, for speech. The way that it works is that it amplifies more the weaker the voice gets so that if you yell really loud the amplifier in the processing circuit doesn't do very much at all but if you whisper it amplifies it a lot so although the peak uh, audio power remains the same the average audio power increases now amateur radio operators find this process immensely useful in their voice communications practices particularly single sideband because uh, the maximum legal power limit of 1500 watts uh, for radio amateurs is based on the peak power so you can boost the average power as much as you want uh, and leave the peak the same and remain legal so in fact you are putting out more power on the average but you're still within the bounds of the law and you get more so to speak bang for the buck because your voice the everybody's voice gets louder and softer a lot if you can get rid of that variation for communications purposes it may not sound uh, like high fidelity stereo radio or or uh, CDs well CDs doesn't that date me mp3 all of that kind of thing it may may not sound like high fidelity but it is more intelligible because it can get through those bad conditions better now someone suggested that I use uh, audio compression for some of my videos I'm not sure that's a, going to work and in any case I don't know where I would get just an external audio uh, processing circuit that would do that. The problem with that is that the background noise, every little background noise, will get amplified to the maximum and therefore will compete with the voice. Now, there's something called a time constant in, a, uh, in any speech processing circuit of this kind. And that is to say that after you stop talking loud and then st start talking softly, there's a delay before the amplification factor changes. If that delay is really slow, you're going to miss some of that quieter stuff. If it's too fast, then background noise is going to severely compete with your voice and the best example I can think of a fast time constant with compression speech compression is once again what they do in telephones uh, you can hear background conversations you can hear television sets you can hear radios you can hear all kinds of things <clears throat> except what you want to hear which is the person talking now the person can go into a quiet room where there's no other sound and it'll be all right but Who's going to do that? People don't do that. They talk in crowds. They talk to each other in bars and gambling casinos, in the case of Deadwood, and all sorts of noisy places. And it, I don't think that speech compression is a good idea for common telephone sets. And I'm not sure it would be the best idea for these videos either. I think the best thing for me to do is to quiet the background noise down, which I've done as much as I can for this particular video. There is one irony that I'd like to conclude this little uh, technical lecture with, and that irony is the fact that although uh, one reviewer has said that the video in these iPad faces, also known as feces, <clears throat> headshots, I don't know exactly if that's a very good word, I, I thought that was for still photos, but whatever it's called, you know, selfies. The problem here with those is that the 
uh, iPad only goes to 360p. So it's going to be blurry if you blow it up to any reasonable size. That's why on most computers when you click on this video you're just going to get a little tiny square because it's just little tiny uh, resolution. But on the other hand uh, uh, some reviewers have said that the audio quality of this cheap little earphone bud microphone combination plugged into an iPad is the best audio quality of all of the tests that I did for the purpose of having you give me your opinions. So the worst audio goes with the no, it's the worst video goes with the best audio. I'm sure the worst audio would also go with the best video too. <laughs> you can't win, can you? You just can't win. But you can at least get a tie. Stan Jabalisco saying peace out on a Friday night prior to President's Day weekend from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of audio folly. Until next time, so long.